my channel. It is February. You know what that means. It is my birthday month. My birthday is next week. And what's after my birthday? Valentine's Day. I have never really cared about Valentine's Day because I've never celebrated Valentine's Day. But this year, I got a Valentine. So I thought it would be really fun to do like a Valentine's Day themed cooking with crystal or I guess in this case baking with crystal because I will not be cooking I will in fact be baking and I have other ingredients here that I bought today I have no patience for baking and I get easily frustrated but when I do it for a video it like gives me more patience and at least I can look back and laugh at myself and you guys can laugh at me too but before I get into the cooking and before I show you guys all the ingredients that I have today I just want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor who is none other than the lovely my besties basically Anna Luisa so if you guys are new to my channel you guys might not have heard of Anna Luisa maybe you have because they're wonderful Anna Luisa is a wonderful online jewelry brand and they just have the most beautiful jewelry when I'm talking the most beautiful I mean right up my alley of just being so minimalistic you can wear it every day you could wear it to dress up you could wear it to dress down it doesn't matter the occasion i literally wear my jewelry at all times i have a good amount of jewelry i have accumulated from anna luisa not only do they make beautiful minimalistic jewelry that i feel like everyone can love but the cherry on top is that anna luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand which means that they do not hurt the environment which is what we love to see they're 100 percent carbon and water neutral and they really 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 take pride in making sure that their jewelry is made with the planet in mind they use recyclable materials whenever possible and they also have in-house plating rather than outsourcing just all of these things together really help Anna Luisa tie in the entire goal of just being a sustainable jewelry brand that is not only luxurious and like beautiful and makes you feel fabulous but it's also so affordable and speaking of feeling beautiful I feel quite beautiful right now and that is because I am wearing my Anna Luisa jewelry I'm wearing these heart gold huggies so cute they are called the Nina heart earrings and then I'm wearing two necklaces this one right here is an Aquarius necklace because I am an Aquarius of course and then I'm layering it with this Anna Lee heart necklace it is red in the center and it is so beautiful and it clasps with like this little cross thing that you put through the hole I think that this necklace with the heart earrings is Super adorable and perfect for Valentine's Day, but not only those two. One of my favorite things to do is layer my Anna Luisa jewelry that I own because they're so versatile. I just feel elegant and wonderful. And I just want everyone to feel this way this coming Valentine's Day season, but also like every season because we deserve to feel beautiful every season. You can treat your significant other, you can treat your gals, you can treat your family, you can treat all of your loved ones if you want, but also don't forget my favorite thing to say is treat yourself. With that being said, you guys should totally check out Anna Luisa and I got you. If you go to their website right now by clicking the link I'm gonna leave down in my description bar, they'll be redirected to their website where they're having an up to 40% off sale, which we love to see. Also in the description, I'll leave a link to the items that I'm wearing today if you guys are interested. But yeah, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get to bacon. I have all of my ingredients right here ready to show you guys. So, oops. I have strawberries, some instant Thai tea mix, salt, baking powder, vanilla extract, unsalted butter, sugar, all-purpose flour. Back there I have whole milk or just like normal milk because that's what the recipe called for and then i have some decorating stuff primarily for the sprinkles and then some more like writing decoration stuff please ignore this this is my tripod for the moment i have some powdered sugar and then i'm going to make it all in this little pot i have that is currently drying off in the dish rack but it's a little pot i got from target for like three five dollars and it's oven safe so i'm gonna make a lunchbox cake! Those cute little cakes. And this is totally my test run for making this for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. So, Mr. Boy, if you're watching this, 
click away now. Let's get into it. I have a recipe I'm gonna follow to try to make the cake. I'm gonna try to make cream cheese frosting, cream cheese buttercream frosting. But first we'll make the cake. So let me go get all of the bowls and tubules and stuff I'll need and then we can get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my dry ingredients it says. Two cups of flour. I also hate baking because I make a huge mess whenever I bake. Cleaning it up is a bench. Two and a half teaspoons. Two and a half. And then one fourth teaspoon of salt. One. Oy. Okay. <laughs> my whisk. Just gonna mix. Mix it, mix it. So then you just have like this white mixture. I'm gonna put this on the side. Here, you're gonna beat eggs for 30 seconds on a speed of six in a stand mixer or hand beater. This is day like one billion of me um, asking KitchenAid if you're watching this. I would love a stand mixer. <laughs> But I just have our old like little hand beater, so that's better than nothing. Four eggs. I could totally like half this, but it's too late. I'm already here. I'm gonna beat that, it says. Oh, I should have my sugar ready. Based on the amount of sugar, I'm making enough cake to feed like a tribe. You're gonna beat your eggs on speed six for about 30 seconds and then while it's still going I'm gonna pour the sugar in for like about 45 seconds it says I'm not really gonna count I'm just gonna hope for the best then it says keep beating it for like seven minutes after that so then I'm just gonna have to keep beating so let's just beat these eggs first This is my mixture after mixing it for like about seven minutes. I would say that it's tripled in size and volume and whatever I was asking me about. It says put the butter and milk in a heat proof jug. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. And then microwave on two minutes to melt butter. One cup of milk. Half a cup of unsalted butter. Oh, this whole thing is half a cup. And it just says cut it into like little cubes so that it can melt easier, I guess. Does anyone else love the smell of Like, oh, it just smells so good. I'm just gonna pour the milk. This is a butter knife. Chop some butter. Microwave it to melt the butter. So I'm just gonna put that in the microwave for two minutes, and then I'm gonna keep beating this. When the egg is whipped, scatter one third of the flour across the surface then beat it for five seconds, then add half of the remaining flour, mix it on low for five seconds, and then add the rest, and mix it for like 10 seconds until the flour is mixed in. Once you can't see the flour, stop. You better stop! Straight away is what it says, so it's pretty serious. Add about one third of it. And then I'm gonna add like half of it. Mix. The rest. So like five to ten seconds. Ooh. I'm gonna leave it there. Pour in the hot milk, vanilla, and oil into the now empty flour bowl. So here's that bowl. Three teaspoons of vanilla extract, which I have right here. Three. Three teaspoons of vegetable or canola oil. You can still kind of see the pieces of butter in there, so I'm just gonna whisk it. And if it needs to go back in, I'll go put it back in for a little bit. Oh no, it's perfect. Ooh, butter like fell apart, like beautifully. Pour the milk batter into the bowl with the vanilla extract and vegetable oil. Add about one and a half cups of the egg batter into the milk butter. Really make sure I get as much as I can. Use a whisk to mix until smooth. I'm gonna try to mix it until it's smooth, it says. I'll get back to you guys when it's smooth because right now it's kinda not. But look at it, it's like no longer clumpy. Turn the beater back on speed one, so the lowest speed. Pour the milk mixture into the egg batter over 15 seconds, then turn the beater off. 
Oh, I got no arm strength. Ah. It says then turn it off. Beat on speed one for 10 seconds and it should now be smooth and pourable. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is my cake base. Yay! So I have my cake batter and then it just says oven is already preheating to 350 degrees. I think it's been about 20 minutes since I started. Pour the batter into pans. Grease your cake pans with butter and then line it with parchment paper. Line the bottom of this with some butter. Putting it in this heart might be a little hard, but we'll figure it out. A few minutes later. You know what, I am not going to line it with parchment paper because YOLO swag. So I have my heart and my normal little pan. Knock it three times onto your counter, so. I'm gonna put my pan and then I'll put my heart one next to it. And then I'm gonna put it in my oven. I put them both on this like cookie baking tray. And I'm gonna put them in. And it says for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put a timer. Start. Yay! I was gonna put Tai Chi packets in my cake to make it a Tai Chi cake, but I completely forgot about it. So maybe should I make Tai Chi frosting? But then the frosting will be orange. I'll think about it. I'm gonna clean up so that I don't have so much to clean up at the end. And then I will be back and we will do the frosting. Later. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I'm really scared to open the stove, but let's go for it. I have toothpicks. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that one came out clean. That one also came out clean. I got my gloves on. In 15 minutes, I will take them out of their pans and put them upside down. These, while my cakes are cooling, I'm gonna make the frosting. Now, I made a last minute decision because I forgot to add my Tai Chi flavoring into my cake. I'm gonna add it to my frosting that I'm gonna cover the cake in. So, I'm gonna make Tai Chi buttercream. The thing with my Tai Chi is that it's like little packets with cream and sugar already in it rather than just like the Tai Chi. So, I'm gonna add the Tai Chi flavoring in to taste. For the buttercream, I already heated up my one cup of butter. I'm gonna add that into my bowl. I need four cups of powdered sugar, so this sugar can be sweet. Right about there. This is gonna be so messy because this bowl is too small. Four tablespoons of milk. Okay. Four. My timer! Flip those upside down. I'm scared. Ah. Uh, can you guys see? Uh, don't know if I'll get the heart to come out. Ah! No, I think it broke. Ah. Let me just let it shape itself for a little bit. I think I can save it. Then I'm gonna beat this until it I'll show you guys when it's done. Now this is definitely buttercream. <laughs> According to this packet of Tai Chi I have, you mix this little instant packet with seven ounces of water. I'm gonna do it with milk to make it extra creamy. Bring it to a boil on the stove and add this packet in there as well. Because it's an instant mix, it's definitely gonna be different. I'm interested to see how this plays out for me. <laughs> add Tai Chi to buttercream and beat. So maybe add it in, it's gonna be so orange. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. I feel like I added way too much because now it's watery. But let's keep trying, Crystal. Add an additional half cup of powdered sugar at a time until the frosting is the right consistency to spread. I should invest in an apron. This is gonna be so sweet. So bad for you, but it's Valentine's Day, so it's okay. It's okay, everyone. Don't think about it. 
Note to those of you watching, make sure to add like half a cup of milk, maybe even less. This is what you need to avoid, everyone. Don't be me. Look at that. It's not fully cooked. The toothpick wiped to me. And it's not fully cooked. But this one seems fully cooked on both sides. So if anything, I'll just use this one. I will try to carve a heart. The cake, though, guys, super rich and fluffy. Should I even cut it? I should just leave it like this. She says after she already cut. So I slice my cake. Now we a square. Just gonna start slathering this sucker. And yes, I'm using a rice paddle. Yeah. It's gonna be good regardless because the buttercream is good. I do think it is a little sweet, but not for me. <laughs> and then I have this. It's so messy. Cookie icing. I'm gonna line the side and then layer the other cake on top and then do the same thing. I'm slathering it with Thai tea frosting. I'll show you guys when I'm done because I feel like it's just slow. Thousands of tears later. Okay, so we're back literally like an hour later. I let it cool and my cake is a lot more solid now. I also found that we had this spatula which I totally could have used instead of the rice paddle. So I kind of want to move this onto the plate. Oh. Oh, beautiful. And I made a makeshift turntable with a hat. I just got like my rotating circle thing and the plate that was in my microwave, if you see on the bottom. And then I just took it out of the microwave so then that I can spin it. I'm going to try to clean up the edges of this cake. This is already seeming way better after letting it cool. Beautiful. But guys, you see, this is what I mean by I am not a baker. I feel like some of you are like, no, you're so good. I better not see one comment that's like, you're so good at baking, Crystal, because this whole video went not how I wanted it to. There's corn. It's still crooked, but I'm just so much happier with how this is post cooling in the fridge. So if you guys have a breakdown like I do, just put it in the fridge. I'm gonna try to clean up my plate. I need no one to point out how lopsided this cake is. I have this decorating set that has like piping stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these Bag, and I'm gonna put in some of this vanilla frosting I got. Put this tip on. Little hole. Keep lining the edges of the cake. Now I'm going to use this cookie icing. I'm going to try to make a heart. Please pray for me. Should I fill it in? I think I should. I'm getting overzealous, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'm going to put some sprinkles. I just have some red sprinkles that I have. I'm gonna put these on the bottom, around the edges. I just want the plate to be cute too. Then I have this red glitter gel, red glitter writing gel. It's totally not focusing. Bro, my hand is so shaky. I wanted to write so much more than just I love you, but I'm happy I decided to just write this. And now I'm gonna sprinkle it up. I wanna like throw them on. Why are they upside down? Huh. I'm carefully curating these heart sprinkles. So normal sprinkles. 
Guys, I'm like very focused. The knock. <laughs> Done! I finished the cake. Look at it! No, look at it! Turned out a lot better than I thought it was in my frustration. I'm actually so happy about it. Guys, I'm done. I feel like I've been cooking all day because it's literally dark outside. It looks cuter on the camera, actually. Little I love you cake. And it's a vanilla super spongy cake and then it's a Thai tea buttercream. It mainly just tastes like very sweet buttercream. Cutting into it is nothing special. I was originally with the layers gonna put strawberries, but I got really lazy. Really wanted to. Maybe next time when I actually make this for Valentine's Day. This is my practice run, but even if I gave him this, I think he would love it. And I'm actually really happy with it. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. In the end, I pulled through. Don't lose hope, guys. Definitely not a lunchbox cake. It's a little, I think, too high and too wide. I'm excited to make it again on actual Valentine's Day. I hope it turns out well. I'll let you guys know if you guys follow me on Instagram or anything. I'll definitely post about it if I end up making it on Valentine's Day. I just wanted to make this with you guys. I've been messaged not only to him, guys. I'm scared to turn it anymore, but I freaking love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so fun to make it with you guys. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. The link is going to be down in the description once again. The Valentine's Day sale to get up to 40% off. You will not regret Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my pain. I know I for sure will be thumbs downing my own video because I did not enjoy the pain. But until the next video, stay cool, stay fresh, stay loving yourself, and stay baking yourself. And for now, we must say... Ta-ta.